A trip to the ammo counter at your local sporting goods retailer is going to tell you what everyone who's gone after turkeys already knows. There are more loads available for killing turkeys than there are turkeys to kill. At least that's true where I hunt. And it seems that every year we hear of the latest and greatest modification that is sure to transform you into a turkey killing machine. You know, whether it's a pistol grip stock, a fancy wad, or an extra, extra, extra full choke, or some very expensive metal shot that sounds more suitable to be launched into space rather than at a 15 pound bird, all of these things are designed to improve the turkey hunter's limitations. Accuracy, pattern density, and distance. And of course, all this comes at a price. And that's why, forgive my honesty, but I almost shrugged it off when I heard that Winchester Ammo was introducing a load for turkeys that was, wait for it, revolutionary. But I kept my mouth shut lest I end up with my foot in my mouth, and it's a good thing I did. Winchester's newest turkey load, Longbeard XR, is a revolutionary load. Historically, the problem with turkey loads is that lead is soft, resulting in flyers, uh, creating a spread that increases with distance. Winchester has sought to solve this problem with shot lock. It's essentially a resin that surrounds the shot. And I mean it fills every little tiny space in crevice, essentially eliminating the extra space that allows the lead to deform. The resin, which starts as a liquid and hardens and leaves you with a, a clear slug filled with shot. But upon firing, the resin shatters, turning into dust. But it still surrounds the shot and takes up any extra space keeping your shot pellets round and creating a tight pattern at ranges you wouldn't believe. We spent some time at the range to really get an idea of the pattern differences of the new Winchester Longbeard XR loads compared to the old Winchester high density extended range non-lead loads. Now let me be clear, I am certainly not, not advocating that anyone take shots at turkeys beyond 60 yards. In fact, I'd suggest the majority of us keep it under 50. But with practice, and loaded up with the new Longbeard XR shells, a 60-yard shot is not out of the question. Now I won't go into the results at 40 yards or less. Suffice to say that most turkey loads, when used with a full choke, should be capable of a deadly pattern at those distances. It's the longer ranges where the Longbeard shines. At 50 yards, the extended range high density number 4s produce 64 holes in a 10-inch circle. That's a great pattern. But the new Longbeard loads, however, produced 75 holes with the number 5s and 147 with the number 6 shot at 50 yards. That's impressive. At 60 yards, the high density loads begin to fall off with just 24 holes in the 10 inch circle. The Longbeard XR number 6s, however, averaged 72 pellets and the number 5s averaged in the low 60s. Now I strongly urge anyone looking to reach out to these distances to practice, practice, practice. You need to know your holdover for shots like this, and a scope is a great addition to your shotgun. We did reach out to 75 and even 80 yards in our little field test, and while the patterns would have killed a turkey, I began to seriously doubt the penetration at those ranges. We started to find pellets embedded within our cardboard targets, so I just wouldn't go there. Now I took my first Rio at a ranch in Texas this past spring with the Longbeard XR loads. And while my shot was only about 30 yards, the shots for the group stretched out to almost 50 and all produced clean one-shot kills. Winchester Longbeard XR turkey loads will be available in three and three and a half inch with one and three quarter and two ounce shot in the number fours, fives, and sixes and should be on the store shelf soon. That's bad news for turkeys.